like I was so I, chat I was literally saying hi <laughs> is my audio fucked because it's looking fucked so I'm glad I was at least right hello this should be better all right shall we get started today chat as a fan of harsh noise you killed it anytime happy to help this is the Ginkgo 65. This is the new budget aluminum offering uh, coming from uh, technically M1, designed by M1, but coming from Wuke Studios. And I believe it's also running through Canon Keys in the US. So I am super excited about this. <laughs> How do you keep your desk mats so clean? Oh, Tom. Tom, 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 Tom. I don't. <laughs> So while I did unbox this, I literally put it back exactly how I unboxed it. So we're gonna unbox it once once more. Um, so a few things I need to mention. One, this obviously isn't the final version. This is a prototype. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Uh, this does come with two different plate options. Um, you do have to buy these separately. They are available to purchase separately. It comes stock with a poly, but it does have aluminum and FR4 options. If you're choosing between the two, I would personally go with the FR4, but the aluminum will be the most different from the poly, just like as a note. Uh, we are going to be building it stock today. Um, I just, I figured that would be the most useful. I feel like most people would be doing stock, so I wanna do it stock. So the PE foam, I we will be using PE foam today, um, if that's all right. Um, if you guys don't want me to, let me know. This board includes PE foam in the base. Um, the PE foam that you will be receiving if you purchase this group buy will be different. <laughs> Just FYI. This is our gaskets, and this is our feet, and our hardware, and stab shims. I never use stab shims. If you worry about wobbly stabilizers, then maybe you want to, but I don't. Uh, and then our daughter board as well. And here's the board. So here is what comes stock for the full e-white kit. So this is the full e-white kit it is e-white bottom. As you can hopefully see here. I'm trying to catch the light so you can see the ginkgo leaf, I'm sorry. And here is the top. There's some side action, and then this will be a little out of focus, but there you go. Also give that to you in the face cam, so you can see hopefully multiple different angles. Face cam, face cam, face cam, face cam. Nice. All right. So there we go. Did, if you get the copper bottom, is it actually copper? It specifically says copper colored. It is copper colored static, not actually copper. So this has, it looks like only four screws. now. I'm a little worried about that. Not super much, but like a little. That doesn't seem like enough, especially with how small they are. But as long as they're not compressing the gaskets too much, I'm, I'm not that worried. All right. So here is our foam that comes with it. Hello, Ms. Apriori. Apriori. Who needs spelling? Not you, apparently. <laughs> nice strawberry beret. Thank you. Thank you. Asley sent it to my PO box, so we're, we're going to be wearing it. For, for years to come, basically. Wookie seems to be on fire with the ickies and now the ginkgo. I mean, they've been on fire nonstop. OA switches are great. The OA stabs are great. We're gonna be using a variation on the OA stabs today, actually. Literally everything that has come out of their studio, I have absolutely love. So there is that. So they pre-installed these side ones for me. So these ones with the hole in the middle, just in case. I know some of you guys like to follow along with these when you're building your actual one. These ones with the holes go here. Now the one thing I'm not sure of, because I didn't receive a build guide, um, and this kind of goes either way, so I'm gonna have to double check this really quick, bear with me, is I'm not sure whether the gaskets go both top and bottom or just one of them. I'm going to assume that they go both. So I'm gonna judge by the amount of, oop, that was dumb. I'm gonna judge by the amount of compression that it seems like, like these aren't very stiff gaskets uh, and this plate looks like that. So I'm going to assume that gaskets go on both sides. Also just like judging by the amount of gaskets they sent me. So we're gonna go with that. If it doesn't work, I'm sorry. I should have checked. That's my bad. So now I'll put the gaskets on the top and then we'll get started on working on prepping stamps. You look like a Prince song. I think that's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me, Sandy. Can someone clip that? Can you have someone just like screenshot that comment and send it to me when I'm having a bad day? Is the e-white bottom made out of copper or aluminum? So for all, every single one of them fears tears. Every single one of these, as far as I'm aware, e-white or otherwise, it is straight up aluminum. Uh, the copper bottom is just anodized copper. It's not actual copper. Uh, Etc. So unless I'm forgetting about an option, uh, as far as I remember and am aware, 
This is 100% aluminum. There are no options for other materials. So we're gonna make sure this is aligned using the alignment pin. So there is one on either side. Make sure the plate is on correctly, and it is. All right, so here is GMK Botanical with 205 grade zero lubed hippos uh, in the poly plate, completely stock with no foams or mods otherwise, and uh, the uh, Lavender Cannon Keys X WK Studios uh, stabilizers. For reference, just like super quick, this is the salvation, right? And then this is your Fuji. Right, they are different switches, so keep that in mind. That'll make a difference. But these are inks, and so they should tend to be a little bit deeper than the hippos, and they aren't. Uh, so there's that. Hello. How did that sound? It sounds really nice. How's the flex, they're asking? How's the flex? It's pretty flexy. It's really flexy. Yeah. <laughs> what is your impression on the design of the bezels and stuff? Okay, so I've stated this a million times. I love the design of this board. I think it is very, it's probably one of the best design-wise, like most of my preference, um, design-wise of the budget boards we've seen. I would even say, you know, if this had a weight, <laughs> I would prefer this to something like the frog. Um, I am personally a huge fan of this sort of like bezeling. Uh, I, I'm very, 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 very in love with this. So this is the Ginkgo, but with the bottom foam. Same exact build as before. All right. Sounds good, but I don't really think it needs the foam. It straight up doesn't need the foam. Uh, it does not need foam, which is good. Um, if a board does need foam, 
I will give it a bit of a side eye, um, even at this price point. Does not need foam. If you want it though, it is there. Um, I really would not put in, personally, I would not put in the plate and PCB foam. That would probably make this nearly silent. Um, this is quite quiet. I, I personally wouldn't. However, if you want to silence your board, that is an option. If you want this to be louder, you want to go with the aluminum plate, which is an option. But we do have FR4 and aluminum. I would say FR4 is for slightly louder and stiffer, uh, if you don't like how flexy this poly is. And then aluminum would be the loudest and the stiffest. However, it would also lean more into clack. So keep that in mind. Um, I do think in this particular board, even I would like the aluminum. I think it would still be flexy. And so there's, there's that. And since it is so quiet, it would not have any resonance, which is good. Any other thoughts? Flex showcase. I mean, so like, this is not scientific. I hate when people do this and are like, oh my God, it has so it's not scientific. But just to kind of give you an idea, there's a decent amount of flex. Comparisons with the mode 65. Let me pull out my mode. My mode is currently missing the bottom row keycaps. Don't blame me for that. So do keep in mind, these are like completely different builds. There's cat hair in here, just ignore that. The mode is more for somebody who's trying to figure out their preference, I would say. Um, there's a lot more options with this where you can play with and tweak this to what you want. Um, I would say this is much more for somebody, much more, not entirely, but more for somebody who already knows kind of what they like. I think that would be the major difference. But this in general is more quiet. This is more loud. Um, I prefer the top down view of this. This has more options. That's kind of really it. They're both very good. Let's summarize this really quick. I was really excited when this announced. The Icky 68 is my favorite board to recommend to other people and definitely in my top budget boards for me personally, like outside of that as well. And so I've liked everything that they've released so far. And so when I heard about this, you know, I was super excited. And I looked at it and I was even more excited because I think it's gorgeous. And then I looked at it even more and I saw how they were implementing the gasketing and I was even more excited. Um, so I went into this with like super high expectations. And if I'm being like 100% honest, I think they met all of them. <laughs> I, I have like, I have like no complaints personally. Um, I think the finish is good. I think the quality is good. I think the sound's pretty good. Uh, if there was one thing that I could see even possibly being a downside for anybody, it's just that it's really quiet in this configuration. But if you want it louder, you can just use the aluminum, but it'll never be super loud, I don't think. Um, but you can use the aluminum plate and some pulley pandas and it'll kick up the, the volume quite a bit. But yeah, I, I don't think the foam's necessary. That's not really a complaint, is it? <laughs> yeah, I don't really have any. I think it's lovely. Can you tell us how it smells? No. All right, I think we're gonna call it. Um, as always, if you have any requests for the YouTube video that we were doing on this, if you have anything that you don't think I covered efficiently enough or well enough, or you wanna know more about, you can always drop into the Discord, let me know, ask questions there. I'm there very often. Hit exclamation point Discord. Uh, you can find me on all the socials that you can see on the end card. Uh, and yeah, I'll try and get this out ASAP, ideally before the group buy goes live, but that's gonna be a bit of a squish for me. Um, I will try very hard, um, but it, it may not happen. <laughs> Just depends on uh, how, how good I do that week. Um, but yes, uh, I will try my very best. And if you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks for tuning in. And again, if you have any questions or requests for that YouTube video, make sure you drop it in the Discord. Bye-bye.